But all the insecurities that you potentially may have, actually no one notices and no one cares. I'm Jamie Lang. I am 32 years old. I would say I'm an entertainer. That's what I'd probably say I am. I played a lot of rugby as a kid. Um, and when I was 17 years old, I, I damaged my ACL ligament and I couldn't play sport again. But I used to eat a lot, right? I'm also five foot nine on a good day. And my mum said to me once, you look stocky. And I was overweight. I was big. And immediate shame came over me. I then, from that moment on, became conscious that I had to not eat certain foods. Constantly pretend that I've eaten meals when I hadn't. I was tiny. I was skinny because I thought skinny meant attractive. I thought skinny meant that people were going to fancy me. And when I started loving myself, I stopped caring so much about how I physically looked. I've definitely experienced, I've experienced that my weight has fluctuated a lot. And I think this is what a lot of people feel like, right? Because we're sitting on our butts all day, we're not doing much. If you go into it and you really look into it and you obsess over it as much as we can, I know sometimes it's very hard not to obsess over it, but if we do, it only gets you down a certain way, a negative hole. And that hole is a dark place that you don't want to be in. I used to worry about my hair or my hair falling out. And actually, speaking to a lot of uh, women out there, um, Women don't actually mind about hair loss. They don't even notice hair loss. But as the guy, as an individual, we notice it so much. We feel like our hairline's disappearing and stuff. You have to make fun and laugh at the situation. The great thing about Calm campaign against living miserably is they're all about opening up to each other, about to individuals, right? And I cannot tell you enough how important that is. Once you open up to other individuals, I can guarantee you 100% that you will get a sort of echo back to you. Oh my God, I feel exactly the same way you feel. And then once you have that conversation, not only do you have a connection with that individual, you also realize that actually it's not that bad. And I'm not alien, I'm not different to everyone else. I'm feeling okay, I'm feeling fine. You know, talking saves lives, it really does. So if you're feeling a certain way, open up to one another, talk to your friends, talk to anyone. And trust me, it makes you feel so much better. We have to remember that we also spend a lot of our time on social media, right? A lot of the time that sort of comes up in your Instagram are guys with six packs sitting on beaches, you know, juggling things, because that's what they do, right? Make sure that you're following the right people. Don't follow stuff because you're envious or jealous or you want to be like them. Why fit in when we're born to stand out, right? That's one of the biggest things in life. There's a, there's a lot of people on social media who are great influencers who you can check out, who I really champion. Um, one called Chessie King. She's a great person to go and check out. She's all about body positivity. When I was much younger and I was experiencing anxieties and panic attacks and all these different things, I didn't talk to anyone about it. No one at all. I remember being in the shower. I remember holding my head in my hands. I remember crying. I remember saying out loud, what is wrong with me? And it was the first time I had said anything out loud. And that moment that I actually said out loud was the beginning of me talking to other people about it. You internalize all of these issues all the time and actually it just eats you from the inside out and it's a really bad thing to do. So I would say if you are feeling insecure, go and talk about it because honestly, when you start opening up, it helps so much more. And then that, in my experience, that is the best way to do it. Mm -hmm.